Hey, y'all. Hey, can y'all hear me and see me? Hey, how are y'all? Can y'all hear me and see me? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How are you guys doing today? Good. Good. So glad. So glad to see you get together to pray again. God is so faithful. How you doing, Ron? I'm good, you sir. Good. We're waiting for a few people to join, um, and we're gonna see how the Lord leads us tonight. Um, I'm gonna ask some people just to. Pray as the Lord leads. Hello, how are you, Penny? Good. Okay, great. Welcome. We're waiting for a few more people to come on and then we're going to get going. Yes. Let me get some music on. All right. I can sense it. I can sense it. Something's changing. The glory of the Lord is in these plans. I can sense it. Something's changing. The glory of the Lord is in this place. I've been searching. I've been searching. Thank you. 
Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. And um, we do expect a few other people to join, but we want to make sure we use our time wisely. Can everybody hear me and see me okay? Yes. Yes. Okay, awesome. Yeah. So I'm Tanya Dennis. I'm the um, campus leader for Awakening House of Prayer here in Atlanta under the direction of Apostle Jennifer LeClaire. And um, we meet every, uh, now we're going to start meeting every week via Zoom um through the election so um we'll be here next week and the week after that we want to just saturate the atmosphere with prayer today our focus um is the region i just i felt really strongly i've been hearing a lot of things in the news and um we know obviously we're constantly praying for our national um leaders and what's happening in the country in the world but we want to um, make sure we're spending time um, on what God is doing here and um, allow him to just um, speak because as people who live in this region, we have authority in this region to speak and decree into the atmosphere what will and will not happen. And I'm telling you, I, re I look at the news every day and I see things that are happening here that God um, is gracing us um, in this season in ways that in other communities, uh, they're not happening um, or, or they're happening differently. So I'm just so humbled that God um, continues to just bless us this way and um, and how he covers us. We're not perfect. We have our host a host of issues. But um, I believe that the prayer that's in the atmosphere, and, and he, he's honored. He's honored um, our prayers, not just us, but the so many believers in this region that continue to lift up and pray and decree what we want to see happen in our region and in our nation. So thank God for that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm just going to ask people randomly to pray. I didn't ask anybody specifically tonight to pray. But I want to ask um, just randomly as you feel led to pray, and if you can um, make sure that when you pray um, that you are praying corporately for the region. And uh, we do all have individual needs, but on our prayer calls uh, and meetings, we want to focus on um, what God is saying um, for us as a whole. So um, we're just going to go ahead and get started. We have technically 40 minutes, but we always get an hour. Um, Thank God, God, God always graces us with that. So um, I just want to start us out in prayer and then I'm going to ask um, someone to go ahead and follow me in prayer tonight, okay? Praise God. So Father God, we just bless you today. We honor you. We give your name glory. We give you honor. We give you praise, God. We just come before you praising you and honoring you for your goodness and your mercy. Because your loving kindness is better than life, our lips shall praise you, Lord. So we just praise you tonight. We honor you. We say hallelujah to your name. You are Lord. You are good. You are kind. You're merciful. We just praise you, Lord. We just, just honor your name and your graciousness, your mercy your mercy and your, your, um, your, your mighty uh, faithfulness toward us, even when we are consistently not faithful, Lord. So we just want to thank you for that tonight. And we just honor you, Lord, for the opportunity to come together on this platform. Lord, we just lift that up to you. We lift up every household gathered here, those who intended to be here. We just bless the household. We decree that the presence of God will flood the room, the household that's a re that are represented on this call tonight, Lord. And we just thank you, Lord God, for a shift in the atmosphere and the environment, Lord. And we just lift up to you right now, um, our city and our region, God. We lift up the mayor, Keisha Lance Bottom to you. We bless the mayor, Lord. We thank you that she is a believer, Lord God. We don't have to understand her stances and her um, decisions, but we just bless her and we thank you that she does believe in you and call on you in prayer. So I pray, God, right now that you get in the ear of Keisha Lance Bottoms, God, that you speak to her in her dreams, that you awaken her to the plans and purposes you have for her and for the city and region. God, I just decree that Keisha is hearing from the Lord prophetically, that she's not hearing politically, she's hearing po prophetically. What is best for the city prophetically. I decree right now that she will move and make decisions according to the word of God, not based on what is expedient for her professionally, but what is expedient for the city 
prophetically, what God is saying through the word of God. And I pray right now that her her um, her economic decisions, decisions regarding human resources, decisions regarding um, uh, allowing certain um, uh, buildings and certain um, economic development activities and certain um, businesses to come to the region, God, will be led by the Spirit of God. I thank you, Lord God, that she's open and ready and calling on you regularly, Lord, and that in that you get in the midst of it and that even no one around her can influence her away from the plan of God that you have for this city in the name of Jesus. So I lift up every city council member. I lift up those who are in uh, decision-making authority in the city and in the state, God, and in the respective counties that are represented in this Atlanta region. And I decree that the leaders are hearing clearly from you, God, even as we go forth and elect new people into office and some that will remain, we believe you, God, that you're putting righteousness and justice in office. God, that people that have your heart, that hear from you, that know your word, that desire your purpose and your plan, for this region shall be put into position in the city and in the region. God, we bless you that those people are not seeking their own will, their own way, but that you would shut the door, that you would shut the door closed and tightly to anyone who seeks to exploit the city and the people and the residents of the city of Atlanta and the region that we call Metro Atlanta. Father, I even lift up the polls, God, and I thank you that my time of voting was a very peaceful time. And I decree that we will not see any intimidation or violence or unrest at the polls or as a result of decisions that were made in this election. I decree that this region shall be lifted up as a model and an example throughout the nation, that we will not and do not have any intimidation or any uh, corruption or nefarious actions going on in our electoral process. God, I thank you that even that they put us in the news concerning long lines, that they will be able to say that there was no um, uh, interference in elections and we have comfort in the results that were made. I decree right now that there will not be any violence in the streets as a result of the election uh, results come November 3rd, which is my birthday or after. I'm asking you for that for a birthday gift for me, Lord. And I ask you now in the name of Jesus that you would allow every subsequent day after November 3rd, to be a day of blessing in the city and region. God, I lift that up to you. And I decree that what the enemy planned for evil and what many cities around this nation are preparing for in terms of out of control violence is destroyed. Let the Lord arise and let his enemies be scattered. Frustrate the plans of the wicked and put a, a restraining order, a divine restraining order against those who would seek to do harm, who would seek to bring about uh, militias and rise up with terror cells and demonic groups in terms of whether it be diabolical uh, physical violence, whether it be violence in cyber attacks or any other kind of attacks, economic or otherwise, that would disturb our way of peace and living in this nation. God, I come against that right now. And I decree there will be no more, no more killings in the street that at all in the name of Jesus. I just decree and believe you, God, that we will not see an uprising of, of protests that turn into violence or outright rioting, destroying of businesses, property, or even hate acts against people in the name of Jesus. I come against that right now and I speak through the authority that I have in the name of Jesus in this region, that this region shall be considered a model. We are not one of the cities that are even being highlighted as being a center for violence. And I decree that that will not change but they will come to us and see how the churches came together, how our streets stayed stay peaceful, how our economy stayed in place, how our, our unemployment is lower than the national average, 
We thank you that the COVID rates here are going down. They're not spiking like they are in other cities, but I even lift up every other city and region, God, now that has COVID increases. God, I, I speak to that demonic spirit and I decree an end to this diabolical um, uh, virus that has killed and snuffed out the lives and ec economic prosperity of so many. Father, I just decree right now an increase in business opportunities for those of us who are business owners in the city and region. I thank you, Lord, that, that people would desire to do business in Atlanta and that new opportunities and economic development will be uh, a part of everything that happens in this region. God, I just thank you, Lord God, that there are new um, educational opportunities even. I thank you for innovative educational opportunities that are coming to this region for our children to support young people, Lord God, to support even su even, to subs uh, even to supplement what the public schools are doing, Lord. I just decree that, that there will be assistance that our children in this region will not fall behind or suffer academically as a result of this pandemic. Father, I just bless you for our area. I thank you that we have a blessed opportunity to live, live here. And I even lift up any diabolical weather, additional storms that would seek to come here to destroy property, land, uh, or the livelihoods of your people that live here. I just decree that we won't even see any additional storms or remnants of storms to come to this region. And I thank you right now that the enemy's plan to have food shortages and power outages and other demonic disruptions to our way of life is destroyed and halted by the blood of Jesus. I come against all of that. I just decree that that will not happen in our region. Uh, I, I bless our region with, and I decree Psalm 91, because we live here, no plague shall come near our dwelling place. No evil will come near us. And so Father, we just thank you we celebrate you for that. We thank you. We bless you for our governor. We pray that you give Governor Kemp wisdom, God, concerning how to make decisions that affect everyone in this region in a way that is a blessing. I pray, Lord God, even decisions that he made that didn't appear to be what we had hoped for, a turn out the way we thought, that you would just allow all those things to turn out for good because we know that pre that Governor Kemp too is a person who believes in you. So Father, we just bless you for him. We don't have to agree with everything he does, but we thank you that he is a believer and that you hear his prayers. I bless him and his family. And I thank you that the decisions that he makes honor you, God, they honor you. And Father, I can't end this prayer without lifting up the police officers, God. Many of those police officers who do every day the right thing and have a heart to do the right thing and who have families that pray for them and support them. I bless them. I, I do not curse them. And I pray that you would send them as angels and encourage them, God, in everything that they're doing. God, and for those who you do not want on the force, who have handled and mishandled people wrongly, whether it be in their heart or in their actions, I pray that you would allow an abrupt removal before any harm or further harm is, is um, brought into any innocent person. Father, I just decree safety in this region. I, I just decree uh, every attempt of the enemy uh, is squelched in Jesus' name that would seek to bring about disruption, racial contentions and rioting and any other unrest in Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Deborah, can you pray? Yes, yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Heavenly Father, for us coming together tonight, Lord. Father, I thank you so much, God, that, that you hear us at this hour, Lord, that we're crying out to you, Lord. That, Father God, that we're rising up during this time, Lord. That we rise up and, and take our position, Lord, so that we can stand in the gap in, in our, the region, Lord, in Atlanta. It's the heart, uh, heartbeat of, of Georgia. It's the capital, Lord, and everything just flows out from it, God. Uh, to every vein, to the uh, the uh, ends of the state, God. And so, God, we stand together, Lord, united. Lord, united tonight in one body, one accord, Father. 
that your will be done for this election, Lord, and, and for our, our beautiful city of Atlanta and the regions that all around in the counties and, and just, Father, that you are raising up uh, an army of intercessors uh, even now, Father, mm -hmm. that we will join together, join arms, locked arms in unity, yes. and, and we will stand in the gap and pray for our our country and pray for our 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 our, our state god and our region lord mm -hmm. father you said in your word lord that that um that uh the the things lord that that you have desired lord for us to stand together lord is the most important lord in I keep going back to the word unity, Father, but I do. I thank you, Father, for this time, Lord. And we bind the hand of the enemy from causing any disruption mm -hmm. and, and, and causing uh, for people that, that will lose hope, Father. And, and so I think we, we stand together, Father, that you are causing us, Lord, to be able to pray in the Spirit. And those, those strongholds and those things in the atmosphere, that wherever we go as believers and intercessory warriors on behalf of those that, that, are, are, that are not living right, Lord, and, 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 the, and the people that, that need your uh, fire lit under them, and uh, that God, that they will rise up and, and take their place and know who they are in Christ that follow those that have lost their identity, that they know who they are in you, Father, so that we can come together as a mighty army made. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Ron, can you pray? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty who rules and reigns in righteousness. We thank you, Lord God, that you are mighty. And in our lowliness and our humility, we know and understand that we don't walk in this earthly plane, but we ascend to even the third heaven and are seated with you with Christ. And we make petitions on behalf of the needs of the people of this region. We decree and declare things that you speak into our spirit and we know that we, when we make these declarations in these and declare these things that you hear them and because you hear them, you give ear to them and respond. So Lord God, we come to this on night declaring that God is God and above him there is no other. We come here tonight declaring that the kingdom of God is at hand. We come here tonight saying, not our will, but thy will be done. We come here tonight declaring the goodness of God permeate this region, the state of Georgia and the surrounding states, Lord God. I call upon the people of God that know you in a new and living way, that they not let their hearts be troubled and let them have faith in God and believe. I decree and declare that we as believers and prophetic intercessors will decree and declare and understand that it is not fear that rules, but it is the, it is the kingdom of God that will have reign and dominion. So Father, let us not put our trust in man and let us not put our trust in what we hear or what we see in an earthly realm. Let us believe in what you are saying from the spirit and from the throne room of heaven. And it's what you say you're going to do, you will do. Father God, I pray that there will be peace during this time, Lord God, in this season, Lord God. Even though the news is saying a different sound, Politicians are saying a different sound. Even preachers are saying a different sound. I believe that you are the God of peace and that you can give us peace in this region, in this area. That there will be safety when people go to the polls to cast their vote. I declare and declare that there be no voter fraud. There be no uh, attempts to steal the election. There be no uh, attempts to defraud the election. But the election will be done in decently in order as you have commanded it to be. Father, I pray that those that, that are in office or those that are seeking office, that they will come to understand that it's not they who put themselves there, but it's you who decree and declare that it will be. I pray that you open their hearts and their ear, minds and their ears to hear you, Lord God. And whatever decisions they make, it'll be made from a kingdom mindset and not from a, a Greek mindset. 
I pray, Lord God, that, that they think with a Hebrew mindset and, and understand that that is their calling and that is their assignment to line themselves up with the throne room of God and do those things according to your good will and the good purpose. Now, Father, I pray for the ones that are going out and picking people up and taking them to the poll booth. I pray protection, Lord God. I pray no hurt, harm, or danger will go while they're being transporting these people. I pray that many of them are transporting the churches that are elect they're being used as polling places. I believe that they be a light that shine in the dark place and they spread the good news of the gospel and not good of a political party. And Father, I have seen with my own eyes that there have been churches that have not opened for service, but they have opened for polls. Father, I do not understand this totally, but I pray, Lord God, that you would bless their endeavors, Lord God. Cause the churches and the pastors to see that it's not a social uh, situation, it's not a political situation, but you are calling your people together, and if they can open up for elections, they can open up for the people of God to meet, for the people of God to worship, and the people of God to praise. Now, Father, I bless these people that are on this prayer call even now, and those that are not on the prayer call that should be. I pray the peace of God be upon them. I pray the blessings of the Lord be upon them. I pray that you give them strength supernaturally, that in that time when they need to speak, you give them the words. In those times when they need not to speak, you close their mouths. In the times when they need to move, that they move in the spirit and the strength and the power and the might of the almighty God that we serve. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Misty, are you able to pray tonight? I'd love for you to pray. Are you able to pray? Misty? Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, yes. Okay. Oh, Heavenly Father, we just lift you up. And we just give you all the praise and all the glory, God, because we know everything is in your hand. You know the plans that you have for us, plans to prosper us, Lord, and not to harm us. And I just lift up every, everybody who's running in office, Jesus, to you. Mm -hmm. You know what you have assigned them to do, that your will be done and not ours, because you see what we don't see, Father. Yes. You know the future already. And you know what you have called them to do and the plans that you have put into their hands that's for the future of your people. And oh God, I just ask that something that's never happened before and that is unusual, that every person who went in office, that you would give them a, a prophetic vision, oh Father, that they would go out and they would see your vision, that they would see you that they will hear your voice. And not only will they hear your voice, that they will be obedient, Father, to what you have called and what you tell them to do. And I just pray that you just cover each one with your blood, that you put a protection of them around, put a shield, Lord. And I pray that no evil forces come up against them, oh Jesus. I pray that all principalities that would try to come and destroy them, Lord, that it cannot happen, Father. I ask that you just cover each person with your blood. And I just pray for your peace, Father, the peace that's beyond all understanding, the peace that we don't even know and can't understand, Father, that there be during this election, Father. That people will look and say, oh, all the media, what they said, it's not true. It didn't even come anything close. That there will just be a peaceful thing, that there be unity, oh, Father, as we go to the polls and as this election, whatever the outcome, Lord, let there be no confusion. Let there be no stress. Just let it be with your peace, your grace. And I just lift up your people, Lord, that regardless of the outcome, that there won't be negativity, oh Father, or blame. I just ask that you touch the hearts and that we just follow your law, Jesus. And your law is the only law that matters. 
Your law is the only law that will bring peace. Your law is the only law of this land. And Father, I just ask that you just be with each voter, Father, and that you would give them your grace and your mercy, and that you just cover each one. And I ask that you be with your people. And not just for now, but for always. And let us always be people of God. And just bring us and draw us to you. In your holy name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much. I just got noticed that our call will definitely end in about nine minutes. So I want to make sure I get in a few more time uh, prayer times. Penny, can you pray uh, for us tonight? Are you able to pray? Yeah, I can do that. Um, but just so you know, I'm from Canada. I hope that that's not a bad thing. Oh, no. We just, we welcome you. Thank but you for joining my God. us. Uh -oh, but God has certainly laid it on my heart to, to pray for, for the United States. Thank you. Amen. Please do. So, Father God, we thank you. Father God, we, we thank you. We thank you that, that you, you unite your children together, that you knit hearts together. And Father God, I just pray for Atlanta. I pray for the United States, Lord. Lord, you, you are the God, the great and awesome God who keeps his covenant and mercy with those who love him and with those who keep his commandments. And Lord, in the places in the places where we have sinned and committed iniquity against you, Lord, we confess and we ask that you would forgive us. You would forgive the United States. You would forgive Canada. Forgive us for the places that we have walked away from you, where we have, we have turned a blind eye to abortion, where we have hated our neighbor or had, had opinions and judgments about our neighbor. Please forgive us, Lord. Lord, come and heal your land. We thank you for the United States and for what it stands. You have set apart United, the United States as your own Lord. And Lord, forgive us as well, because we have not heeded your servants, the prophets. Father God, please forgive, please forgive your people who have ha had the blessings of prophets and have not listened. And forgive us, Lord, as well, for those prophets who are, who are giving a false cry. Father, I pray that you would make the prophets of one cry at this time that would raise your church and raise your people up to come and pray for the United States, Lord. God, I pray that you would put it on people's hearts to pray for their country, to pray for the people so that they may be saved, so that they may be walk in righteousness so that they might be a country again who holds the standard of righteousness up to the world. Lord, we, you have placed on our hearts what an important time this is. And thank you for the opportunity to be a part of it. But Lord, please have mercy on us and listen to our prayers. Thank you, God, that you are the God that says that you love your own and no evil will follow your own, but loving kindness and tender mercies follow yours, your children, Lord. And Lord, I just pray for mercy for the United States. I pray for mercy for the United States, that you would see your people rise up in righteousness, that they would follow your voice and your voice alone. God, I pray that you would put on people's hearts who to pray for during this time, that Trump would get in, that Trump would get in, that Trump would get in. And Lord, I agree with all the, the, the prayers that have happened um, in this call, Lord. And I, and I ask that you would hear our prayers, hear our prayers, Lord. We beseech you, we ask you, you are a good God and you give good gifts to your children. We thank you, God, that you will not overlook us when we ask, you will not overlook us. But Lord, please, please, turn the hearts of the people to pray for Trump so that he can get in. Pray for, I pray for protection over the polls, that there will be no, um, 
unrest, that there will be no violence. God, may it be an unusual moment in time that would take the breath away from the media, Lord, that they would know, not know what to do, what to say, that they would, they would be confused and annoyed, Lord, but that your peace, your glory, your kingdom would fall on this election time. In your name I pray, amen. Amen. Thank you, Penny. Appreciate you praying for us here in the U.S. Thank you for that. Nicole, can you pray? Uh, do you, are you able to pray? We have about uh, two minutes. Yes, I can pray. Awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just give you honor and praise and glory for this time of intercession, Father God. God, right now, we just ask the blood of Jesus over the United States, Father God. We ask, Father God, let your angels be dispatched over the polls, Father God. We ask, God, let your angels be dispatched over all uh, governmental uh, buildings, Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, as decisions are being made, as lobbyists are trying to get their last bill um accept it father god god we ask that you expose the enemy's hand for anything that has been uh trying to be signed signed or pass without full knowledge of the people, Father God. We ask God that you will uncover, Father God, any hidden agendas, Father God, any back doors, anything, God, that is done behind closed door, God, that is hidden from your people, God. We pray, God, right now that justice will be served right now. We pray, God, because you are a just God. You are a fair God, and your word says the heart of the king is in your hand. And Father God, we thank you, Father God, for your right hand is over the United States of America. Your hand is not only on the United States, but it's over this world, Father God. So God, we just play a fiery hedge of protection around each border of the United States. God, we pray, God, even over the oceans and over the airways father god god we pray god right now that you would change the frequency of the words that the intercessors are speaking god that we will be in one alignment of the of what's in heaven and we speak what's on your heart father god so god we pray for humble and humility over the white house father god we pray god that they are are speaking and thinking of love and they're thinking of fairness father god in there and they have the fruits of the spirit father god so whomever the leader uh, you may have chosen or allowed to have happen father god we give all honor to you and all praise and you god we trust you in all these situations father god for you are alpha and omega in the beginning and the end and you are father god are in control of everything that shall happen in this season father god so we thank you and we praise you and we thank you for the hedge of protection for those god that are in danger god that that for the the unseen things that are the snipers are trying to do father god so we come against the enemy right now father god that is trying to attack officials god a uh, time to attack judges god for those that are putting secret things in their food and drink father god god we ask god that you will overturn things that are trying to uh that happen god and again god dispatch your angels to expose the enemy hand right now in this season in the name of jesus sound the alarm sound the alarm sound the alarm god I thank you sound that alarm sound the alarm god so god we just thank you and praise you for it is so in jesus name amen hallelujah thank you lord teresa we have about 30 seconds can you close us out sure i just want to pray some declare some words from psalm 122 because our feet are standing in your gates the jerusalem on behalf of our city state and nation Lord, we are closely compacted together and unified. This group that's on the call and the intercessors across the nation are unified, Lord. And so we have come to these thrones of judgment and we are praying for the peace of Jerusalem. We've heard this theme over and over, Lord. We are united in prayer for peace, not just Jerusalem, but for the body of believers unity lord among all people that call your name king lord we pray for the peace of atlanta we pray for the peace of georgia we pray for the peace of the nation and you say may those who love you 